Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news right now as we speak here. Uh, RT News is reporting this here. Shooting herd in Ankara, military jets and helicopters flying over the city. Uh, those of you that are catching this broadcast here on live stream, let me bring you up to date here. Let me kind of go up here. This is an actual footage right here. Uh, I got all kinds of crazy things popping up on my screen here. Try to get that out of there. Um, oh my gosh, where in the world is the article going? We got so much stuff going on here, it's not even funny. Uh, but here we go. Let, let me see if I can get this on here for you. There is a military jet there, just flew over Ankara, right across the city street. He goes back up into the sky. You see him bank to the right there on your screen. I'm not sure how well you guys are seeing that on the screen here. Let me try to get some of this stuff down here. Uh, see what I can do here to change the, the, the size here. Uh, again, let me play that clip there again for you. You can actually hear him, you see him perfectly fine. Uh, it's got one fire burner in the back, so it's not a Russian jet. It looks more like an F-16. Let's see what this one here does here. Again, that was the fighter jet swooping down. This is Ankara, uh, where this is happening at. Happening at. Uh, the Turkish security forces are currently doing what needs to be done to resolve the situation. Shooting is being reported in the Turkish capital of Ankara. Uh, that's what's going on right now. Very strange situation indeed that is happening, especially in light of Nice, France, just last night as we first broke the story here, what we were seeing on RT News. Uh, the, in, in Nice, we were already seeing that, uh, and, and I think as a result of some 80-something people were killed, eight children in the terrorist attack that happened in France. Now we have war jets that have swooped over uh, Ankara, uh, Turkey, uh, this here curfew seems to have been enforced in Istanbul. Army troops asking people to go home. Uh, don't know exactly what's going on. Military on the ground there. The question remains, is it possible that Russia and Turkey are going at it for some reason? Or is it another issue that is happening there in Turkey? Uh, we are, uh, let's see what we have else here on this particular video footage as well. Again, another one, another jet flying over. I've got a freeze up on my frame here, guys. Let me see if there's anything I can do. Uh, let's just go live here with, um, with the news there on RT. Oh gosh, I hate it when they have these stupid commercials on here. Uh, but anyway, gunfire military hel helicopters in, in Ankara. Prime Minister says a coup attempt by part of the army is underway. Wow, that is serious right there. Um, Let's see, once we get past this commercial here that they have on there, maybe we can get some, uh, some idea of what is going on in Anchor, Alaska. But the Prime Minister says a coup attempt uh, is underway in Turkey. Uh, I guess someone doesn't like Erdogan very well in this country here. Cooperation on Syria. Okay, that's Ukraine. That's totally different. Let's get back out of this one here. We go back to this uh, headline here. Uh, shooting herd in Ankara. Military jets and helicopters flying over the city is what we've got thus far. Let me go down here to another one of these. Uh, Again, another jet flying overhead. Now the question is, is whether or not the uh, jets that are involved in this, are they actually, um, are they Turkey's jets flying in uh, or is it something else? Why Ankara? What is going on in Ankara? Uh, not sure as of yet. Uh, I don't know if we have any of our uh, friends on the ground there in Ankara, or if anybody is there that, that knows that is watching the broadcast here, we have a lot of Israelis that watch our broadcast. Don't know if anyone else is finding out anything else out on the ground there. Again, we know as of last night, the terrorist attack uh, in Nice, France, where 80-some uh, uh, people were killed, and this here, uh, 
Uh, of course, it was ranked radical Islam. We see this on Arut Sheva, what they're saying here. And uh, I'm just trying to see if we've got any other sources here that is reporting what's going on. It looked like there was one CNN uh, footage right here. Let's just see if we've got anything on this right here. CNN, um, and this is, let's see, both uh, Bosphorus bridges, Asia to Europe, access closed by troops. Uh, CNN Turk reports uh, police helicopters over uh, Bio Biogula is what we're seeing there. I don't, there's no telling exactly what is going on, what's happening there. Uh, to have fighter jets in Ankara, though, is just a little bit on the odd side, uh, I would have to say. Um, uh, just see if we have anything else going on. We do see military troops here. Turkish soldiers are blocked both bridges on the uh, Bosphorus in Istanbul, and jets are flying low in Ankara. Reason not clear as of yet, according to Selin Garit uh, on um, uh, there on Twitter. There, let's see. We will log in there and follow some of these people here. Um, just to see if we can't find out some extra things that are going on. Those of you that are watching here on Israeli News Live, um, I'm not, I don't think we're even logged in here on the live stream broadcast. Well, let me just drop, jump over there just to see if anybody is reporting in there anything going on that we might be able to glean from all of this. Um, only problem is I might have to figure out how to kill the volume here. Uh, just so I don't get any feedback once we log into the show itself. Uh, I see that I am live. Let's just see if we got anything on the chat here. We do have 36 people that are just watching as a last minute uh, news broadcast that we were dropping in here on what's going on. Um, but let's just see if any of you guys are saying anything about this in here. I'm not seeing anything as of right now. Uh, any comments there? All right, let's drop back out of that because every time I open up another window, it only slows down the feed there on Israeli News Live. And uh, as of right now, Turkey is what we see. Let me just drop, jump over here to Sky News. Um, just see if Sky News is actually reporting anything on this as well. Yes, Bangladesh, uh, Bur, um, they're also saying that you see the troops on the bridge. The bridge closed down. Uh, Turkish military says it has taken over. Uh, Turkish military says it has taken over the country. Oh my gosh! A coup from within side. They do not want Erdogan. The Turkish military says it has taken over after Turkey's prime minister said a military faction had been involved in an attempt attempted coup. A military state, guys. That's what we're seeing right now. Let's just see if we can go live with uh, Sky News. See if, by the way, if Sky News is reporting. Yeah, they got it going on here. Let's, uh, give me one second here, guys. Let's get some volume in on what's happening. Figure, uh, of, the, of the 20th century and, uh, and this century too. But equally, the other side of the country is equally happy with the fact that the if the Turkish military has taken over the country of Turkey, who then is going to be in power? Is there fear? The question you have to ask yourself, is there fear they don't like what Erdogan's doing? I, I'm really curious. you got tanks on the road even. What is going to happen out of this? Guys, we are watching breaking news. We are on Sky News Live right now. Military taking over a military coup breaking right now in, uh, in um, gosh, right there inside of Turkey. Listen, we're going to post this real quick on... Uh, on